All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh this is my uh forever Minecraft world. I wanted to build one. It's a realm right now. No one's on at the moment, but that's okay. Uh I'm uh been in the process of uh fixing up this village and uh I wanted to uh build a wall around it just as like a protection thing. And so I wanted to start uh I wanted to start with something aesthetic. I just had a lot of uh, deep slate, or uh, yeah, the deep slate blocks at the time, but I didn't have enough to finish. And so I wanted to go with the more. <laughs> get out of here. I wanted to go with the more aesthetic thing of mud bricks, or whatever they're called. Uh, so this is how you make a mud brick. So you take a little gra You take a little wheat right here. You get a water. And, uh, where's my shovel? So this is how you do it. So you take your shovel, you get your water, and that's how you make a mud, a mud block, right? Alright, so you take your mud block, and you stick it with wheat, and you get packed mud. Now if you get four of those, you get a mud brick. I think I have one here. Yeah, I do. I got mud bricks. So, I was gonna build the uh, build the town or build with this around it. I like it aesthetically. It's a nice little. It looks a lot better than that. So we're gonna build this town up. The problem is, it's it's a lot of wheat. You know, you're gonna need a lot of wheat for that. You're gonna need a lot of mud. So I decided to work on my first mega project here, and uh, that's what this is over here. So. <laughs> Uh, we got a lot going on over here, but basically, in order to build this wall, I had to build a few circuits. So we have a wheat farm. I'll have to manually replant this, but what I can do is if I hit this button right here, it sends water out. It collects everything. All right, all right. So this is how we accumulate our wheat. This is a uh, this this kind of build has been in Minecraft since basically the beginning, right? But down here we got hoppers, and it sucks up everything. I gotta fix this last thing because obviously we're getting a few things like stuck on here. Just two, but that's not that bad. Throw it in there, and then as you can see, we have hoppers down here collecting everything, right? All right, so we'll get to this. Don't worry about that. We'll get to that. But inside we have some pretty basic stuff. I'm still working on the on the tower, but as you can see, we, we've begun the process of accumulating the mud bricks. So we're going to turn this on right here. I'm going to go down to uh, all the mechanics. So I got to turn that water off, but what we have. Oh, sorry. Alright, it'll take off. Okay. So what we have here. Sorry, it's a little crowded. But we have all these hoppers up here. Let me get past it. All these hoppers up here collect the seeds and the wheat. And uh, we have a chest, a master chest right here that collects all of it. And then this hopper, this one's separating the seeds, and then this one's separating the wheat. And then we have these two mine carts that go back and forth. And the problem with the mine carts with the separating system is. Uh, like, it's hard to get them to stop and load up without it. Like, if the hopper's not full, like, sometimes the auto-send and auto-return does, doesn't work. So I've created this circuit right here, um, where basically it's a bunch of comparators. When this minecart goes over this activator rail, it sends a signal through here, and that signal turns off this torch, which turns off the power rail. And so the hopper minecart has time to collect stuff. We'll see it when it comes back down. It's it, it does a really good job, right? So yeah, you can see it working right there. Let's see, is there anything in here? Oh, it's not getting the wheat. There's no wheat coming through yet because it's too busy with the seeds. But it is, it is auto-separating. And as you can see, this is the seed rail. It'll come up here. And what it's doing is it's depositing all these seeds into this hopper right here. 
and then this hopper goes into an auto crafter. Or it takes the seeds, throws it into a composter, and then the composter slowly starts accumulating bone meal. And the way that the auto crafter works is if you put a comparator behind it for every item, one, two, three, four, five, for every item in the auto crafter, it'll send out a signal. So we have one, two, three, four, five right now. Once it hits that, once it gets nine, it'll send a pulse back to the crafter and then make a bone meal out of it. All right? Pretty cool, huh? And this is just like proof of concept right now. But uh, let me see here. So we're still, I think we're still collecting wheat. Is wheat coming through yet? No, nah, there's still no wheat coming through. It's all, uh, still all seeds. So if we just kind of if move that. So now it's collecting. It took the seeds out. So now it should be sorting the wheat out. It's picking the wheat up. So watch this. We got the magic coming through. So it's sticking. Yep. It's dropping the wheat in. Yep. Did I pick that up on mistake? Yes. The same. Uh, the same philosophy. As this thing picks up wheat, and I don't have a heavy system here because the wheat's pretty quick to it. But uh, bop bop bop. It's the same principle. You can see the wheat is getting added to the auto crafter. As soon as it hits. Boom! It pops out another wheat. The uh, the wheat gets in here. Boop! And it pops it out. And then we get uh, hay bales. And with those hay bales, it's just a way to stack the wheat because you know the more you can press something, the more you can fit in here. Because uh, the very last part of this build is what I completed yesterday. This is our mud factory right here. Our mega mud factory. So, what was it? It can process a lot of dirt at the same time. We're just going to drop a lot of this in here for now because I don't want to deal with it. But the uh, the di design principle is pretty similar. Um, the only difference is... Well, this, I think I calculated it can do 18 stacks. And uh, I had to make... I had to find a specific circuit to make this work because... A lot of the designs I saw online only go one dimension line and then two dimension plane. They couldn't do the full cube. But what I found is that if you take an observer, the problem with the observer is like once this activates, the observer sees the piston push, but then it also observes the piston going backwards. So it just kept going, cha -cha 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 -cha, which is uh, uns unsustainable if you're trying to do this in the large hall. But what happens is if you take a repeater on one tick and then a repeater here on two ticks, it creates a blocking signal. So it only reads one. So the observer only can send a signal out because this one's blocked off. It can only send the signal out on one pose. So what you got to do here, and you always got to make sure this system's primed, right? In here, this is just a bottle filler. It's a pretty simple bottle fiddle filter circuit. But uh, all you got to do to make this work is you place your dirt block. You got to place one here to get the system going or it won't work properly. But this redstone sig this redstone stone torch won't power this redstone unless there's a block here. And that activates this piston. It pushes it, activates the dispenser, which deposits water. And booyah. Now, what you're seeing here is all the bare bones. I wanted to show this off before I got, uh, before I got it all, uh, oh, wait, okay, hold on, why am I sucking these up? I shouldn't be, okay, there's something wrong with the circuit really quick, I don't know what's going on here, yeah, because I'm getting some incompletes, if you do it right, there should be, so, hold on, let me go down here. That's got bottles. That's got bottles. I think I was just picking up the bottles by mistake. So, uh, that'll be fine. You stand far enough back. Yeah, there we go. Every time, it fills up. And then this is what the extent of the mud farms I saw online do. They only push things into a plane. Like I said, we, we're making a line right now, and that first level of pistons is making a plane of mud. But uh, 
The final step is something that I created. I don't think I've seen anyone online do that, which is why I'm making this video. But once it gets to the very edge here, as you can see, the bottles get filled and then they get sent back into the system. It's just like a conveyor belt. But what happens is you get to this final push right here. One more. Once I do 12 more. Yeah, see, it pushes it all up. So it goes 12 blocks. It goes 12 blocks that way, 8 blocks this way. And then it'll go 12 blocks up which will be over a thousand mud blocks. So what happens over here is the same thing as the first one. It's just uh, multiplied. Uh, boop. I'll throw a dirt block here. But what happens is when this final plane hits this last one, the same thing happens. Observer sees it, sends a signal down there, and all of these are observers. It's a wall of... Uh, it's a wall of redstone, or a plane of redstone, and it's all less than 15 away. So every redstone gets lit up. The observer sees it, sends a signal pulse up, and uh, pushes all the blocks up. And uh, yeah, the same principle. The observer sees it, sends a signal. Signal goes in here. This one's on three for some reason instead of two. The other one, it was one, two for the other one. This one's one, three. Because if you have it on less, it'll go... It just stays, it gets locked in. You see it's like locked in, so if I put another one there, I won't see it. But if I have it too far, I think this is one is the one where it goes crazy. Oh no, I guess a four tick works too. I think it's this one. And it just locks in, yeah. It's got to be three or two, one of the two. But that's the design principle, so... That's how we get all of our. Uh, that's how we're gonna get all of our mud blocks for the uh, for the village. <sighs> it's my first mega build, and then this is just a little clay thing. I'll probably this is just so I could get some initial clay. Nothing crazy, but uh, yeah, pretty happy about that, y'all. And then so that's how you do a three-dimensional. Uh, that's how you do a three-dimensional mega mud uh, machine. <laughs> That's what we call it, the Mega Mud Machine. And, uh, yeah. So that's how you do it. And then with a the shovel... Ow. With a shovel, uh... It'll only take about a minute. I was thinking about... I need to get an allay. That's how I'm gonna clean up, because like I said, everything in that building down there... The building's not finished, but, uh... All the wiring is basically done. But yeah. You basically just click that. And the one thing I gotta fix... I gotta see if there's a way to do this. I need about eight stacks of seeds to replant this. So I need to take that out of the machine before it composts it. That's the only other step I gotta figure out. But once I do that, we should be solid. So let me see what I got left to take out. I gotta take out eight stacks. But yeah, I'm very happy with the design. Is it already chewed through it all? It might have already chewed through it all. Yeah, this thing's aggressive. Now oh, there it is. All right, doot 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 doot. Nothing there, and then nothing extra in the chest. Oops. Yeah, and then after that whole process, yeah, we got about a stack of hay bales from that. So pretty happy with the results. And uh, thanks for watching. That's how you make a uh, mega mud machine.